hi divine feminines welcome back i hope you guys are doing wonderful today today is a beautiful day i feel good so i hope you guys feel great um so this is just going to be a reading for you guys i have some cool decks i'm going to pull from at the end to give you more messages that you might need to hear messages of encouragement i have the guidebooks here and yeah so let's just see what's going on with you guys i shuffled off camera so let's just do it a couple more times spirit guys angels ancestors for the divine feminine please give me clear messages for the divine feminine allow me to channel the messages block any interferences <clears throat> for the divine feminines okay so some of you guys could be a scorpio here or you're dealing with one okay take what resonates leave what does not fit and also remember to flip and switch the roles okay because you know how people try to you know they be coming up in y'all reading all the time <laughs> So, yeah, I feel like you guys are going through something major. A major transformation is happening for you guys at this time. Um, purifying your energy. Um, you could be going through some heart chakra upgrades with the uh, Queen of Cups. Um, your psychic abilities are also heightened at this time, possibly. Yeah, but you're putting an end to things or into to something here that is not um, making you happy. So let's see, for the Divine Feminines, what's going on for the Divine Feminines? What do they need to hear today? Messages for the Divine Feminine Spirit. What do they need to hear? What does the Divine Feminines need to hear? Okay, the high fence. Okay, you could be a Taurus or dealing with the Taurus. So some of you guys are spiritual guides. Okay, spiritual teachers, spiritual gurus here. You could have a spiritual business. Okay, I do have some business cards and some career cards right here um, at the end. I thought that would be cool to incorporate here because some of you guys are trying to work on a business or <clears throat> just anything about your finances here to help you grow, right? But yeah, the Hierophant talks about, um, I feel like you guys are really standing in your truth here. I feel like you guys are figuring out what you want and what you don't want. You guys are definitely being guided. You guys could be a teacher. You're teaching people here. Doesn't have to be spiritual. You could actually just be a teacher or a counselor or a therapist of some sort, you know. But I feel like spirit is guiding you at this time. I feel like you're definitely stepping into your power with that red. It definitely talks about an authoritative figure or somebody that's a leader. For some of you, this talks about you being married. Some of you guys are married or could be going into a long-term commitment. Um, but you definitely share knowledge with other people. You help other people. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys could be um, coming into a time of figuring out or finding out that you... Excuse me, y'all. That you want um, something traditional. The marriage, the family, you know, that type of thing. I feel like a lot of you guys are very, um, like have a old souls too. Hmm. Something about your belief systems are changing possibly, but let's see. So let's see what else for the divine feminines. It's a lot of things I got from that, but we're going to see what that is. What's going on with the divine feminines. Okay. Queen of wands upright. Okay, so this could be you, confident, sexy, beautiful, standing in your power, bold, courageous, very independent. I feel like you guys are very unique, and maybe you're understanding that. You're understanding that you're unique. Uh, you're unique. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, but you feel very powerful right now. I feel like you're feeling very powerful. That three of swords right here. Mm, then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's just see. <laughs> Before I, what else for the Divine Feminines? Okay, the Tower. Hmm. What else? Can we dealing with the Scorpio or Aries? Oh, that's you. What else for the Divine Feminines? Okay, Two of Cups. Look. So this could talk about a relationship, y'all. Y'all heard that? Give me a second. Let me go see what that is. Oh, that was 
put my water, <laughs> I got my Deer Park water stacked up and they fell over. Okay, that was random, but okay. But anyways, so there's a tower moment happening or it is about to happen. I feel like it's going to be very shocking. Something is going to be unveiled. I feel like it's a relationship. A lot of you guys are going into a commitment. Yeah, it's going to make you very happy. Some type of partnership here. There's somebody here that you love that loves you back. There could be things happening in your life or falling apart. So that way, this new relationship, you're trying to make space for this new relationship here. So maybe you're having to kick some people to the curb. And I feel like you're just doing this subconsciously. Like you don't know that something here is going to happen. So things are kind of like shifting or changing. That's what I feel. But I, guess, I, mean, I mean, I guess now you know. <laughs> right? But what else for the Divine Feminines? What else? Okay, very interesting. There's a relationship here that is going to... Um, okay, yeah, Six of Swords. That came out. Wonderful. Yeah, you're definitely being guided at this time. Some of you guys are working your marriage. Some of you guys, this is a... um, You're married to somebody in the spiritual realm. So, like, your, it could be your twin or something like that. But you're definitely being guided, moving things. Things are moving to calmer waters here. You guys could be traveling. But things are shifting. Things are moving. What else for the Divine Feminine? Okay, Four of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are saying, you know, I look good. I have, I have a lot going for myself. Why am I bored? Or why is my love life stagnant? Or what the fuck is going on? Okay. <laughs> there could be something from your past that you are kind of like not over. Hmm. The Four Cups talks about stagnancy, missed opportunities. You could still be holding on to something or someone is holding on to you. I feel like you're bored though. I feel like something here is stagnant or, or you're bored, I feel, uh, especially in your love life. Cause I do feel like you're in love with someone but you can't get to them right now or they can't get to you. So it's just like, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> I really feel like you're annoyed a little but you are working hard though. And I feel like something here is about to happen that you just don't see. What else for the Divine Feminines? I feel like something is going to start moving with the Six of Swords by the Four of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, waiting. <laughs> You're waiting for something. I feel like whatever um, seeds that you've been planting here in, in regards to your finances, that's going to blossom. Also, um... If it's a relationship, you know, it's the same with that. If you've been working hard to, you know, working hard on yourself, which automatically helps the twin flame dynamic, you are going to reap those benefits. A lot of people, some people are not meant to be with their twin in this lifetime or whatever, but some are, you know. Yeah, something's going to come all of a sudden here. What is this? Um, What else for Divine Feminines? Okay, nine of cups see oh divine feminist you got something coming in girl i mean well yeah girl boy <laughs> girl or woman man you know y'all know what i'm saying sometimes you know most of the time divine feminines are the woman there's majority of women for divine feminists but y'all y'all get what i'm saying just take out resonates if you a man you got a relationship coming in just period but anyways um yeah you've been waiting on this too Wish fulfillment is coming in. You're going to be happy. There's a relationship that's going to fulfill you. Yeah, nine of cups. Then we have two more. That's 11. For some of you, it could be your twin. You're going to be very happy with whatever this is. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting excited. Yeah, six of cups, seven of pentacles again. So, yeah, you put in the work on yourself. I feel like you healed some inner child wounds here. The tower. Y'all, I swear... There's something here that's happening. The tower again and the judgment. It's yeah, three of cups. You're about to wreck the empress. Six of wands. Oh, 
when you're about to reconcile with somebody or somebody from your past life here is coming in, it's going to be shocking. Oh, it's going to be shocking. Let's see what's, what's happening. Something is going to shock the fuck out of you. You are not going to see it coming at all. This deck is called um, This Might Hurt Tarot Deck. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, four of wands. Told you. It could be something about... um your home, your security, but I feel like this is about a relationship. Okay, let's see what's going on for Divine Feminine Spirit. Give me a message or clarify this message for Divine Feminine Spirit. You could be doing with an Aquarius or Aries. <clears throat> Why is this Hierophant here? <clears throat> Five of Wands, Four of Swords. Why is this Hierophant right here? Why is this from right here for the Divine Feminines? Okay, Six of Pentacles, yeah. Equal give and take, reciprocity. For some of you, this is like a uh, maybe a government institution or something like that. For some of you, you're being pat patronized for your work here. People are giving to you. They're paying you for your services, whatever you do. Okay, but you're making that money. You're making that money, whatever you're doing. It's what you're supposed to be doing, really. Um, I also feel like if you want something traditional, if you want a commitment that obviously is going to be equal, it's supposed to be equal, right? Reciprocity, balance. I feel like that's coming in. Things. I feel like your career and this relationship here is just going to make you so overjoyed. <laughs> you are going to be like jumping for joy. Yeah, I finally got what I wanted. For Like for me, for instance, like I just really cannot do the 3D relationships like relationships that are kind of like you know superficial you know not saying that everybody that's like stuck in a matrix mindset is like superficial it's just i don't resonate with it anymore so i really want something spiritual right like i don't want i just want somebody that resonates with me on a soul level i just cannot do the and it's so frustrating right because a lot of people are not spiritually inclined you know or understand um, other parts of life or what life is even about really to be honest and everybody's not going to share the same beliefs as as we do or as i do but that's what i want though for myself <laughs> so i can't do nothing else and so it's frustrating when you keep running into certain type of people you know what i'm saying and because like a lot of you guys are light workers heal healers and things like that like you're one of the chosen ones to do work here in this lifetime you're here to be of light and to help others. It's just so... You run into a lot of people that drain your fucking energy. I just be so over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over meeting people like that. So, I'm claiming this reading for my damn self. But yeah, Page of, page of Cups, Eight of Wands, The Empress. There is some communication coming in. Things are coming in quickly from an admirer. Somebody that's been watching you or... I don't know. What else for the higher thing with the Six of Pentacles? So balance here is going to be restored in your life. Okay, I feel like you're being blessed. Spirit is blessing you guys So whatever you're doing. What is the higher thing with the Six of Pentacles? For some of you, you're finally, you're just going to be in a relationship here that um, you're going to love. What else for the higher thing in these Six of Pentacles? Okay, that's too much. The tower again, yeah. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, there's some truth. There's going to be a breakthrough here. You're going through a breakthrough or something here is happening with your fight. I feel like this is a very good tower moment. Yeah, good news. Page of Wands. Oh, Divine Feminines. I don't even know. It's, I feel like I'm just all over the place. But with the Ace of Swords, there is some clarity coming through. I feel like you guys are standing in your power. You guys are very, very powerful right, right fucking now. Okay, there's going to be a divine opportunity, a new beginning of truth, clarity. Um, a lot of you guys are speakers here. You are spiritual guides. You're definitely doing what you're supposed to do in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Or you're getting ready to. If that's, if that's what you thought, you're right. So that's what you're supposed to be doing. But yeah, with the tower, I feel like certain things possibly could be falling apart. So that way, this whatever this is could come together. 
Yeah, because you're going to get the Ten of Pentacles. This was inherited through your ancestors, your roots. Okay, maybe people in your family are this way, but they just don't know it yet. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that they are light workers or something like that. But you're you're here to break that that generational karma. I feel like you're here to clear that out, and you're here to to do what those people in your family did not do in their lifetime or whatever they had their time to do i mean they're still alive so they still got time to do it but i just feel like you know this is a new generation so yeah for some of you guys there's a there's a big amount of money coming in it could be inheritance money it could just be people patronizing you for your work i feel like there's a big ass commitment coming too i feel like money and your love life is about to flourish heavily yeah yeah, something here is going to be balanced out most definitely. Your finances are going to look good. For some of you guys, you could be starting a business. You need to, um, you know, read the fine print, sign some contracts here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Who's this Queen of Wands right here? Yeah, Two of Cups again. King of Pentacles. Oh, y'all mean somebody that's stable, loyal. They like long-term commitments, successful businessman or woman. Yeah, that's Big Daddy or Big Mama, whoever. Okay, what is the Queen of uh, Wands right here? Queen of Wands. Okay, Ace of Cups. Look, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, <laughs> y'all about to be in love. There is some new love coming in for y'all, man. This shit is nice. Okay, y'all have really been doing the work. It shows, this reading is showing that you have really been doing the work. Most definitely doing the work. Self-love is big here. Self-love, just really pouring into yourself, purifying your energy, cleansing the shit that does not belong, that just not, it doesn't resonate with you no more, period. And I feel like maybe some people could be mad. People around you could be chaotic or just mad because you're moving on from different shit. You're not intertwining with the bullshit. You just are ready to move on and move forward. You feel good. You, you definitely look good with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. You look good. <clears throat> you feel good and you're confident. You're bold. You're alluring, okay? And you move with integrity here. Yeah, you're just sexy, just period, okay? What else for this Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups? What else? I love to see it. What else for this Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups? Nine of Pentacles, look at you shining. <laughs> I'm telling you. What? All these cards are good yes you're independent you're self-reliant you don't you don't ask nobody for shit you just do what you need to do here i feel like it's not even about you not asking nobody for shit because you're maybe not too prideful to ask nobody for shit but it's just a simple fact that you just don't need nobody well everybody needs somebody but you get what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying you just feel good you feel free your money is flourishing. Your business is flourishing. Some of you guys could work in the beauty industry where you help people feel more confident in themselves. Okay, you could be like a, a speaker. You speak out like a motivational speaker or something like that. But your money here, Divine Femme, you make good investments. You're making a really good investment here. Or somebody here wants to invest in you. And that shit is going to blossom, I'm telling you. Yeah, Six of Cups could be somebody from your past, Nine of Cups. Okay, just, just be aware, I'm telling you. Somebody from your past wants to invest in you for the long haul. Like they want to, y'all finna die together type of thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying here. Okay. And, and, and I don't know, the four cups is here. So I don't know if you're going to ignore the offer or, or this is just you being bored. We're going to clarify and see. But yeah, because of all the work you've done, I feel like you are now reaping the rewards. You're reaping the benefits of the seeds that you've planted over time. Yeah. Yeah, good karma is here, Divine Feminist. If you know you've been doing the work, this shit is, is coming in. Yeah, what is the tower right here for Divine Feminist? What's the tower? Okay, fair. that is too much. The temperance, you could be dealing with the Sag. What is this tower? Sometimes these cards are annoying because... Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something here has been slow as fuck. It's been slow, but I feel like... um. There was something that had to be taught 
or or built up okay somebody maybe need to mature maybe get their finances together or work on themselves yeah because i feel like you're standing in your power so if somebody's gonna fuck with you they need to like uh be you know really have the same values as you because i feel like shit ain't gonna work if that's not the case Okay, the shit that you value is important and your person, they kind of like need to align or be compatible in a way. You get what I'm saying? They don't have to be the same, but it just needs to work, right? But I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody's coming in all of a sudden and they just move. So I feel like maybe somebody's a little stubborn or I don't know, it could be an earth sign with all this earth energy here, specifically a Taurus. Okay, I'm a Taurus sun and moon, okay? So this reading is looking very, very good. <laughs> Some of you guys could be Taurus or you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries. But yeah, that shit, somebody that's coming in, somebody's coming in very loyal, dependable, reliable. Okay, it's nothing like a reliable ass person. They mean what they say, they say what they mean type of thing. Very committed. They want to build something with the Knight of Pentacles. Or this is you. Whatever you're building is going to be um, successful. What is the Tower with the Knight of Pentacles? Tower with the Knight of Pentacles. 21, 21 on the timer. Okay, spirit, too much. What is the Tower with the Knight of Pentacles? Tower with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Wands, look. We got three Aces on the board, all fucking ready. I'm telling you. You're probably gonna have a choice to make. <laughs> You're gonna have a choice to make between two people or two things or just one path versus another. But I feel like this Two of Swords is representing you just not seeing something coming or I really do. But this Ace of Wands here, there's something new and passionate starting. It really, really, it could be a project. It could be... Um, you traveling, you going on like doing more adventurous things here. Maybe you guys are moving. Okay. But whatever was stuck or not moving in regards to a relationship or your money, or you just felt like you can't get somewhere or something was never going to come in. It is. <laughs> it really is. And this newness here, you're just going to feel so refreshed or this person is coming in refreshed and renewed. Something is going to feel like something just never happened really. Yeah, there is a new beginning here, honey. There's three of them. <laughs> Sex with me by Rihanna is on. Okay, <laughs> okay, y'all might be um getting to it, getting down with the get down. Okay, period. But let's see, what is two of cups right here? What is this two of cups? I feel like you deserve it anyway. You deserve somebody that's going to love you and sex you good and make you feel good inside and out and treat you like a queen or a king that you, that you, you know what I'm saying? That That's what you are about, okay? I'm tired of meeting fucking losers. What is this, two of cups? Okay, the king of cups and the king of wands. Oh, <laughs> divine feminines. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. So we have the the king of wands to the queen. Now we have the king of cups. So yeah, you might have some options and they're both kings, baby. They're both kings, okay? They're both, whew, these might be two, two people or two of the same people. Yeah, there's somebody here that's devoted. I just feel like both of them, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but just know that they're both kings. One could be a fire sign, one could be a water sign, or maybe it's a water sign with heavy fire in their chart, or a, a, a fire sign with heavy water. I don't know. But but I feel like your person is here, though. A queen of wands to the king of wands. You have a match where you, like, the sex is good with this person. I feel like maybe I've already been intimate with them. Could be your twin, your divine counterpart, because those are here now. And this person, so if this is this person, they're coming in more emotionally mature and ready to give their all to this relationship. It's showing, I'm telling you. So I don't know, y'all. I don't think you should miss out on the opportunity. <laughs> I don't. because, And I feel like if it's yours anyway, you're not going to miss it, but you do have free will. Okay? But yeah, something here is going to be victorious. 
yeah, some of you guys could be getting pregnant. I'm telling you with the high priestess, that's fertility, pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, there's a high level soulmate or a twin flame coming in and it's going to be victorious. Child, what is going on? Uh, Divine Feminine. It's going to be dealing with a Gemini or, yeah, Cancer or Pisces. Definitely Scorpios here too. Oh, you might have a choice to make or this is your, this is, these are both people. It's just they're, they're balancing themselves out now. Where they were before too passionate or too sexual, they now have the balance of that with the, the feelings, the emotions, the vulnerability, being able to love you correctly, being able to be there emotionally for you, being emotionally available. Yeah, I feel like somebody here has been hiding their feelings for you for a long time, but they're in love. Somebody somebody has did a whole 180 for your ass. I'm telling you. <laughs> they did. They definitely did, Divine Feminists. Okay. What is the Six of Swords about for Divine Feminists? <laughs> Let's see. What is the Six of Swords? Okay, Queen of Swords. So now we have three, uh, well, two queens. I feel like in order to get to where you want to go, Divine Feminines, in order to get to a more peaceful place, you are cutting people out. You are setting boundaries because your standards are raising. Like you just want more for yourself. You're very blunt and you're very raw in your communication here. Some of you guys could be speakers, like I said, but you're a very authentic person. You definitely are on your shit, just period. And you mean business. You're not dealing with nothing else that is going to be too fucking low vibrational. You're just not, especially if people don't, if, especially if you see people don't want to work on themselves. It's just like, skirt, buddy, stay where you at. I just don't got time for that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You know, somebody here could be moving away from Aquarius Libra or Gemini Feminine. Okay, you're moving away from this person because they, the Queen of Swords could be a little bit, uh, I don't know. We're going to see. What, what else for the Six of Swords with the Queen of Swords? Okay, Six of Cups. Yeah. <clears throat> the Sun. Who's this Queen of Swords right here? Could be dealing with a Leo. Who's this Queen of Swords? Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's either this is you walking away from something or this is your person walking away and coming towards you. They're coming towards you you're their past person you're the one period somebody here was not happy with this air sign possibly or this is you setting boundaries and cutting people off and walking away um from maybe somebody that you were dealing with before i also feel like um maybe you guys need to play around more and like get in tune with your 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 What's going to what's gonna bring out your playful side, your childlike side? Maybe um start doing things that you did like back when you were a child, like play certain type of games or things that make you feel good, right? Could be. Yeah. What's this Six of Cups right here about? What's this Six of Cups about? Okay, yeah, ten of cups. So, okay, so this 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 could be you, or this could be your person. Just take it how it resonates. But somebody's walking away from from a family dynamic. Yeah, five of swords, the death card. Definitely walking away from somebody that played mind games. Somebody that had a player mentality, couldn't communicate. Somebody here could have cheated with the ten of cups in reverse. But somebody is not happy though, and I feel like somebody's moving away. Whether it be you or your person, you're just leaving whatever this is behind. Just period, and it's the right thing to do. Yeah, you're not happy here. I feel like whoever this is made you feel insecure or you lost yourself in dealing with this person. Yeah, you could have kids with them here. Yeah, six of cups, ten of cups. You could have kids with them. So like a family dynamic has been kind of like torn apart. Okay. But you weren't meant to be with this person to regardless. So, I mean, you just learn your lesson and just move away from it. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Somebody spoke their mind and they're out. <laughs> just period. Okay, so what is this four cups with uh for divine feminine? What is this four cups? Okay, king of swords. Okay, we have the king to the queen of swords. So for some of you, this is a divorce here. Ace of Pentacles, three of swords. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see what else for the Four of Cups with the King of Swords. Okay, you have Four of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like um, somebody here got bored. It could be the masculine here. Whoever's in a masculine energy is moving away from whoever this is. Because somebody does not see eye to eye with someone in a family dynamic or a marriage. Um, or, or just it could be a community of people that somebody's just outgrowing and moving away from. Which is ultimately bringing you and, and your person together. I feel like, you know, this is you. This is definitely you and your person. You guys connect on all levels. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Okay, you guys could definitely communicate very, very, very well. But somebody here had to work some shit out. What is this Four of Wands right here? Four of Wands is a twin flame card. What is this Four of Wands? Your person could be an air sign, your twin with fire sign with fire in their chart or a fire sign with a lot of air. What is a uh, Four of Wands? Yeah, the lovers. Yep. Definitely your twin yeah there's three kings here so y'all somebody here got options i feel like the women here they y'all have a lot of options coming in i ain't gonna lie to you could be the men too but i'm saying y'all y'all got options here <laughs> you're gonna have to choose what's what but i feel like there's one connection that you just know is for you <clears throat> like you just know it so you know deep down in your soul like yeah this person could have um ended things on the wrong way with you they didn't handle it the right way that's apparent but this person had to clear some karma or do something before you guys can get together because this is a very strong connection where you two need to be on the same page or else it would it would just never work it just never will work yeah it could be an aquarius here or leo yeah but somebody here wants to be with their person <laughs> The, uh, the lovers and the um the four of wands. I feel like somebody here wants to bring you some type of truth. Look at you and your person. These cards are pretty as fuck. But yeah, there's a really deep connection. I feel like um there could have been a choice between two, but I feel like somebody that your person here has been trying to clear something up of the past. You guys will be seeing six 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 six. Excuse me and um. Yeah, your person is on you heavy because they're, they're bored. I feel like that's them. They're bored because I just feel like you're fine. You're getting new love. There's new love coming in. If this person don't step their game up, and I feel I feel like they feel your energy. If, if this person doesn't step their game up, you're going to connect with someone else. So regardless, because you are owed that. You did. You're not perfect, but you did the right thing with how you handled the situation. You did the inner work. It's your time to shine. But I feel like your person is definitely coming in to speak to you definitely they want to be honest with you about something but they love you here <laughs> they feel like you are home to them there's going to be some type of reuniting or celebration with the four of wands yeah because somebody here is going to take a risk and come in very confident okay yeah so <clears throat> yeah they're not satisfied without you if you're not there they're not going to they're not going to be satisfied i feel like they feel that pull which is exactly what the twin flame dynamic is. Um, it's not what it's about, but it, it is kind of, you know, because you and this person are supposed to be doing something together. So let's see what this seven of pentacles is for divine feminine. What is the seven of pentacles? What is the seven of pentacles? You and this person were married plenty of lifetimes here. Plenty. What is the seven of pentacles? Yeah, four cups again. You guys have been seeing four, four, four. Yeah, somebody's like bored or waiting or I don't know. It's just like. <laughs> what is the seven of pentacles with the four cups? Seven of pentacles with the four cups. Okay, five of cups. Yeah, regret, remorse, or sad. Or feeling disappointed here. Yeah, because I just feel like somebody's more so unhappy. Just very discontent. Very fucking discontent. Yeah, because they're not saying anything to you. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the um Ten of Wands. Somebody is burdened. I feel like because you're not speaking to them or you I feel like you pull back your energy here, Divine Feminines. 
you're just not you're not paying no mind to this person you're not paying them no mind and because you're not feeding into this person's antics, they could have tried to reach out to you before and you ignored them or you didn't give them the response that they thought that you were. Or you didn't feed into what they said. And so now they're just looking at themselves like, hmm, I feel like it's pushing this person here because they, they, the runner and the, and the twin flame dynamic is the one that is uh, kind of narcissistic in a way. They could be a little bit toxic. They don't mean it, but they do anything to keep you here and stuck in this space because they don't want to lose you while they fix whatever they need to fix over there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not fair to you. And I feel like that's the game that they've been trying to play. But it's like, because you're not feeding into them or you're ignoring them, they feel like they missed an opportunity. Oh, now I got to I gotta get to my person. They could just be going through a lot of shit too. They have a lot of um responsibilities or things that they need to take care of. But I feel like it's more so this person is getting ready to pop. The tower is here twice. They're having some sudden realizations about the fact that they're going to lose you if they don't step it up. Because you look good. you finer than ever. And this person knows that you're their twin. Now they do. And I feel like they're, they're coming in, into an understanding of what this twin flame journey is about. They could have been researching it or whatever. But, yeah, it's just like... <clears throat> they can't let you go, Five of Cups. They keep looking at the past, which is you. You are their past person. Yeah. But the Seven of Pentacles talks about patience. It talks about um, reaping the benefits, getting the rewards of whatever seeds that you planted, whatever work you put into this relationship and this person, you're going to get it back tenfold because they're coming in with new. I really feel like they're coming in with new. I do. What is this Nine of Cups right here? And, and y'all getting new anyway, so you're going to have a choice to make. What is this Nine of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups for the Divine Feminists? Okay, the Magician, yeah, standing in your power. You are very, very magical right now. You have all the tools and resources to manifest whatever it is that you want. You just get what you want, just period. I feel like the universe is you are favored. You are highly blessed, highly, highly favored. Okay, you just... Whatever this is, it's going to it's going to make you feel good. I feel like you just feel like this right now. Yeah. What what else for the nine of cups with the magician? It could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Yeah, the Hermit. There's a Virgo card. Yeah, you've done the inner work. You've done the introspection. And because you're doing this and taking the time to yourself and going within, you are being blessed here. Yeah, the six of wands. Look, a victory. I'm telling you. Right under the two of cups with the king of wands and the king of cups. Yeah, you're going to be blessed with the amount of work that you put in is going to show in your relationships, your your life, your work life. You are going to be so blessed, like forever. I just feel like you're going to be blessed forever. You are. Yeah, you are like, I just feel so like, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe that's how you feel. Like, you don't know how to explain what's going on with you. <laughs> But you're definitely getting recognized for your hard work. The rewards are coming in, especially in your love life. Yeah. People love you here because you are a, a spiritual leader here. You are. You do the work, Divine Feminines. I'm, I'm so proud of y'all. <laughs> I'm so proud of y'all. Like, I really, I really, really am. This was such a beautiful reading like real real beautiful so let's go into some um some more shit that you guys need to hear um this deck is called light worker oracle okay i got it from a metaphysical a metaphysical store that i live by the damn metaphysical store is like literally i can walk to the store <laughs> literally like a minute or two away and that is so like i love it <laughs> i love that but um so yeah let's see what we can pull from this for you got for you light workers and shit like that. Most of you got that watch my channel are. So let's pull a light worker card. Or maybe you're coming into a time where you're finding out that you are a light worker. Okay, because maybe you don't know. Okay, but yeah, this is a new deck. I haven't used it before. Well, I use it on myself, but that was a while ago, like when I first brought it. But I'm trying to start using more of my decks here. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, can you um Clarify this message here for the Divine Feminines. What else do they need to hear at this time? What else do they need to hear? 
Yeah, Karmic Clearing, Star Child. These cards are so freaking put pretty. But what else does Divine Feminines need to hear? Okay, I can't really shuffle these. Okay, so we have Eternal Now. And then we have Merkaba Spiritual Protection. Okay, period. These cards are so freaking pretty. Like family of light initiation by air hmm. yeah let's read these but look at this card these cards are freaking like pretty yeah so let's read the merkaba spiritual protection card number 25 okay so it says being open to receive is a way to gain empowerment, strength, and all manner of assistance. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. Yeah, I know that's what y'all doing. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you release these thoughts and feelings, a, spaci a spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can then receive more of what is rightfully meant to be for you your divine good in all ways okay period it says an open sensitive person can easily become energetically overloaded from physical pain to emotional and psychological tension and overload does not feel good you may even feel like you are carrying others on your back or in your head the added weight can drag your naturally light vibration down into anguish doubt fear or despair your inner vision too may be obscured by the overload that can make it hard to discern what is yours and what belongs to another whether experiencing overload to your system is an unusual occurrence for you or you have a tendency to absorb and process others others energies common for healers psychics and mediums artists and other sensitive open open people you will benefit from a spiritual cleansing afterwards you may feel less inclined to connect with particular people or work on certain ideas even if they seem very important before the cleanse this means that you are freeing yourself from others input and discerning the true pro priorities of your own heart to accept a spiritual cleansing now, repeat the invocation below and then relax for as long as you need when the oracle card resting face with the oracle card resting face down over any part of your body that you intuitively feel can use spiritual cleansing. Okay, you, you guys might need to go out and buy this deck, okay, for this to do the rituals and shit like that. But the invocation is here. So let me finish reading this part so I can give you the invocation. Okay, <clears throat> it says you can repeat this process daily for three days or up to three weeks if you feel that you need it. Your rest can be for several minutes or up to a half hour or more. If you fall asleep during your cleansing, that can allow for even deeper clearing. Pay particular attention to what you sense immediately after your cleansing. It is a time when you become very aware of just who or what has been draining you and be able to lovingly but firmly say, you must leave my energy field now and not return without my express verbal permission of my own free will, so be it. Okay, period. This oracle is also confirmation for those of you who have been questioning if a relationship, person, or situation has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field. Your insights are correct and you can now use this energy clearing process to remove the cords of attachment and release any negative energy from that person or situation. Okay, so the invocation is, I call upon unconditionally loving divine protection. The sacred chamber of light, the Merkaba of divine light is around me now. I choose of my own free will under divine authority and grace to release any and all connections, content and containments that do not serve me through unconditional love. I choose of my own free will to take my life journey in the most joyful and loving way possible. I open to divine grace for cleansing and protection of my integrity at all times. I am free to simply be in the truth of me. May all beings be blessed and protected. May all beings be happy and free through my own free will. So be it. Okay, I'm about to do this one right here. <laughs> I'm about to do this one my damn self, y'all. So this was nice. This was really, really nice. So this is called the Merkaba Spiritual Protection. I don't know, maybe you guys could order this online too, but I went actually to the store to pick this up. Okay. Okay, so maybe you guys need to hear that right now. Maybe you guys have people around you that some of you guys could be dating and you're just meeting weird ass people, people that are like are like kind of like obsessed with your energy in a bad way. You get what I'm saying? Like it could be very scary when you see how people are so needy and clingy and cling on to you. You know what I'm saying? And then you being of light, you know, you're open, you're you're like, okay, cool, like maybe I can, you know, just have a little fun with this person and yada yada yada. No, it's no. <laughs> it's just no, 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 no. So let's keep going. So we read this one. I like reading at the bottom of the deck cards, okay? 
so um what else can we get so this deck is called very pretty deck another one that i have is called the um let me put this book back here this is called <clears throat> the goddess goddess power oracle okay it's by colette bar and reed i think i got this from off of uh amazon if i'm not mistaken yeah i think i got this from off amazon okay so let's see what this is about for you let's see what spirit has for you um, from this deck okay spirit what else do you want um the divine feminists to know please clarify this message even further what else do you want divine feminists to be enlightened about here please and thank you oh, okay it's much easier to do them this way okay can i shuffle them no all right one more time Y'all know I like jumpers. Okay. Bottom of the deck is... What? What letter is that, y'all? Can y'all see the letter? Is that Reich? Is that letter R or... Okay, it talks about ambition. Then we have Saraswati, Mastery. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Number 44 could be significant. Okay, then we have number 11 again. Some of you guys could be seeing 11, 11 a lot. Shakti, okay, Transformation. I heard of that goddess before. Okay, so let, let's see. Um, Which one was at the bottom? It was uh this one, Ambition. So let's see what this is. You can work with these cards under the under the moon here. Very interesting. Full moon illuminating spread. New moon intention activation spread. Okay. I like that. These these are nice. So let's see. Number 38. Let's see what this one is about. Uh, oh, Nike or Nike. Okay. See, that did look like an N, but I, you know, I just didn't think the word Nike was going to be there. <laughs> Or is, is, or is this pronounced Nike? I don't know. But let's see. Okay, so it says empowerment message. The Greek goddess Nike or Nike <laughs> asks you to be, or Nike, asks you to be present to the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance, so what are your wins? Celebrating them is key right now to enable you to co-create even more. You live in a world where you may have felt that you were not allowed to celebrate your victories, lest you be cut down from being self-centered. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining in an authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you are too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you are flawed in any way and expressing yourself with authenticity. This is the true power of the victory goddess, Nike, expressed through you okay the goddess nike has another message to share if you've been struggling to move to the next level of your life working hard and putting the time and effort in you will soon find you are finally winning your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with beautiful results when you are winning the world wins too just remember to share your bounty okay beautiful that's exactly what is going on here alignment message it says are you so determined to win right now that you are running like a racehorse with blinders on her eyes beware of unbridled ambition and the strident need to win you may have become influenced only by your wants and forget to ask yourself if what you want is for the highest good perhaps the job you want so badly won't be good for you or that unavailable partner you're so determined to be with will never love you back wow yeah Nike gives you, or Nike, <laughs> gives you the alignment task now of getting real with yourself. Comparing yourself with others may have triggered jealousy and envy. It's time to step out of this race and recognize that you are where you need to be. Your life is a marathon, not a sprint to your next goal. Your only competition is with yourself, so choose now how you want to feel about your life and who you want to become. Then take baby steps towards your highest intentions. Cheer on others who are successful. Learn from them and help those who are struggling. You can learn from them too. Your place in the world is assured. So remember that however long it takes you to live your life to its fullest is perfect. Okay, period. Beautiful message. I think her name is Nike. Because it starts talking about running and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Sprinting. <laughs> it sounds like a Nike shoe. You get what I'm saying? So maybe I'll just call her Nike. Okay. 
I'll, I'll look it up and see how they pronounce it, but beautiful message. Let's see. That says another Saraswati. It says Saraswati here. So, uh, hmm. did they spell her name wrong in here? It says mastery. So this card talks about mastery. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, mastery. Mastery is a genuine sense of effortless knowledge after a period of dedicated immersion. The Hindu goddess Saraswati asks you to enter her domain of art, language, knowledge, music, and poetry, and make this commitment to go the distance. Immerse yourself, yourself, body, mind, and spirit in discovering all aspects of what is at hand. Learn and then learn more. Right now, if you adopt the role of apprentice and are willing to devote your heart and mind to something, you will become a true master. Okay, yeah. Deep wisdom knows only continuous learning. No matter what question you've come to explore, the goddess Saraswati reminds you that the pursuit of mastery is never ending so enjoy every minute of it the alignment message is are you someone who begins things with great enthusiasm but when you realize the scope of the situation you move on to something else <laughs> that sounds like me <laughs> could it be you're dealing with someone like this Am ambulance ambivalence whatever it's something to be careful of at this time as you recognize your need as you recognize you need more knowledge and energy that than what you have to move forward com com competently. The goddess Saraswati reminds you that there are no shortcuts on this journey and partial knowledge does not make you a master. In fact, your alignment task is to stop working in a scattered way. It's time for some deep diving into the subject of your inquiry to really get a command of the Terran. Offer the commitment of your time and energy and you will feel the surge of power as you move into a more masterful role in all areas of your life. Stick with it. Keep learning and keep practicing your craft your heart commitment, your meditation, and your self-expression. Stay present to it all and you will be glad you did. Okay, yeah, that was a nice message too. I'm glad I didn't skip it. So yeah, whatever you guys are trying to master here, keep going at it. It could be that you are a spiritual leader. You do help other people. So maybe like if you do tarot like me, it's more to tarot than just this. It's like a continuous thing, okay? You need more knowledge in that or um, it's not that you really need it, but you know what I'm saying? Keep learning, keep growing. It's going to help you in the long run while it's also helping others. But whatever creative endeavor you're working on here is helping you, it's aligning you with things that are for you, people that are for you and everything. So it's all a domino effect, really. That's what I really feel like it's saying. Yeah, beautiful messages. Okay, maybe somebody needed to hear that because that's how I am too. Like, well, that's how I was. Okay, because I, I, I'll pick up something and find something to start researching or studying and then I'll find something else and then leave that there and then I just leave everything alone because I'm scattered. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, that was a message that I needed to hear too because sometimes I still do it. Sometimes I really still do it. But let's see. Um, or let's get your, um, your cards here, your career cards. Let's see what comes out of this deck for you. What does Divine Feminine need to know in regards to their finances, their career? Um, I forgot what this Oracle deck is called, y'all. I really, really... Um, it's on Etsy. But just type in Career Oracle on Etsy. And um, it, should, it should pop up. Something like this should pop up. It's a green deck, you know. <clears throat> you know, so... But anyways, um, let's see. For Divine Feminines, what does Divine Feminines need to hear in regards to their finances? And let's see. Then I have some um, business cards. Okay, bottom of the deck is student. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school to pursue higher learning education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with the money or get a financial advisor to teach you. Okay, you guys could be needing just a, 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 a what you call them people? They are financial advisors, but it's something else I was looking for. Not an assistant. I forgot what the name is. But anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's see. What else for Divine Feminines? Okay, it says independent. If you're not self-employed, it may be time to have an entrepreneur mindset. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. Your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. You can do it. Yeah, that's what I feel like you guys are going into or some of you guys are already deep into it. 
Then it says the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. Most definitely. Yep. Most definitely. So watch who you give your time to, your energy to. All right, we have envy. It says you could be envying other people's financial success. Try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with others. Others could be envying your success. Careful who you trust with money matters. Okay, I feel like it's more so that than you because I feel like you're unbothered. <laughs> like you got what you want. You're happy. Like I, I, I don't see that's you. I feel like people are more so envious of you because you have everything that you want. Spirit is blessing you, but it's only because you did the work. And it's just something that they should be doing as well. So it's like, why envy somebody? I don't I don't understand that mindset really, to be honest. But anyway, this has goals. Don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This will be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. Focus on creating and managing a budget. Then we have um, settling. Perhaps it's time to ask yourself if you're getting paid what you're worth. Don't settle for a dead end job where you don't see any opportunity for growth. Though your money is stable, you are not making enough to keep you happy. For some of you, that's the case. Okay. But the card did say, I mean, well, you, well so for some of you, you know where you're settling at. So that's different. You know that you should be moving to something else or, or, or something like that. But for others of you, the card did say that you could be overly, overly ambitious at times. Like you're, you're working too hard for something. Okay. So just be aware of that too. Like you have a goal here, but you know, you got to let spirit work its magic too. But anyways, entertainer says, put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, some of you guys are meant to just do you. You're not meant to work for anybody, really. I feel like you're going to gain that financial freedom once you um step outside of what you're doing whether it be a job or whatever and, and do something here that you're very talented in so these are like business cards here i forgot this deck too man i forgot it but i think the same person sells it though i'm not sure i forgot i had this these decks for a while okay when i started my tarot journey i was buying a whole bunch of shit <laughs> okay I started to become like fascinated with it and realized I'm really intuitive, you know? So I was just buying shit, man. But let's see. They're coming in handy though, right? <clears throat> now they are. So let's see. What does um the divine feminine needs to know about their business or business that they're going to start? What what do they need to know at this time? Let's see, to help, you know, give them some type of clarity or vision about what they should be doing. <clears throat> bottom of the deck we have toolbox what devices help you accomplish tasks get your tools and use them create a system that works fix or update your tools make a skill set inventory okay then uh, let's see let's see what else we can get so we have support group go to a community event communicate in group settings attend a live conference join a club okay to to um network with other people then we have office space. Your space is a reflection of, of you and what you do. So maybe you guys need to reinvent your space. I was thinking about putting some shit, especially this. I need to get this shit painted. Okay, the maintenance man needs to come do this because I'm tired of looking at it. But I was thinking about getting some stuff around my like parameter right here. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But then we have vacation. You earned it. Celebrate and have some fun. Travel, exploration, connections, discoveries, rejuvenation. Yeah, there might be some ideas that, that spark your interest when you travel, when you see new things. You, you could become inspired by other things that you see outside of the norm. Like every day where you see outside of your place every day, you might just need to go somewhere else to get some ideas. Okay. Okay. all right so we have um newsletter recall your regular clients and customers keep them in the loop okay then we have packaging is your packaging eco-friendly have you taken excuse me a packaging photo and promoted it are your supplies up to date does your packaging reflect your brand can you create a business bundle those are all questions excuse me that you should be asking yourself i guess or maybe this is some shit that you wanted to know. So maybe it's confirmation that 
You got to get it moving here, um, Divine Feminists. And then it says mindset. Do you have a scarcity or abundance mindset? Yeah, didn't we just say this? It says something about scarcity. So you could just be all over the place. That's what I be having a problem with, really. And then I get overwhelmed and just don't do shit. <laughs> um, it says health supplements. Got big ideas. Remember to consume enough vitamins and minerals in between all the brain work, okay? Okay, I like this deck. Very informative. Very helpful. Okay, it says pay a living artist. A left brain world needs more art. Support a working artist now. Help yourself or employ another. Okay. Then we have hashtags. Use an app, do market research, or pay a statistician to reach your target audience. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. I never heard of statistician, like statistics. I never heard that there were there were actually people that like worked in that field. Okay, it says networking. Not enough people know about you. It's time to show up and have a performance. Talk about your work with others. Connect with like minds. Show up for yourself. Be seen and heard. Okay, put yourself out there. Then we have moon cycle. How is the tide this week? What sign was the last full moon in? Am I under the influence of a lunar phase? Do an emotional, do an emotional checkup. What makes me feel comfortable? Okay, these are all questions here. Okay, a few more. A few more. Because I feel like this, this could really help someone. All right, so we have change of focus. Think happy thoughts and apply those to business to focus better. Think happy thoughts and apply those to business to focus better. Yeah, apply those to your business or whatever. Okay, we have... um. Calendar, mark daily, monthly holidays, check work slash life balance, schedule household slash business events, review at the end, use an app if necessary. Okay, some of you guys need a calendar here or set up one on your phone or something. It says file dump, check your resources, rework or discard what was unused, show off or celebrate accomplishments, create a collection of things out of place. Okay, then we have oracle cards. This card has several meanings. You may need to put another or pull another oracle card, consult another oracle deck, work with oracle decks, create an oracle card spread to answer a question, use oracle cards in your business, trust the reading you just got. It's correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we have um take a break, rest, meditate or exercise. Just 10 minutes of stopping what you are doing brings clarity. Connect with your inner guidance, find your calm, quiet place. Okay. And these are nice. I like this deck. So let me know in the comments if you guys, if this has helped you in some type of way. Okay, bottom of the deck, it says passion. Your business should turn you on and see your enthusiasm. Are you are your powerful feelings being expressed in a balanced way? Okay. So this, this was a nice deck. I like this deck. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. So yeah, so let me know in the comments if you guys like that part of the, the readings. Like, do you want me to keep incorporating the... um the business cards and the money money oracles and things like that yeah this was a nice addition i feel it's helping someone some of you guys need to get some plants i know i need to get some plants i keep saying that but i don't really know how to shop for plants y'all i don't know what's like a good plant to have or i don't know i guess that's the virgo in me that's just like gotta like overthink everything before i just instead of just going to get it it's just like something gotta be a certain way or I don't know. I need to do more research on it before I get it. Like, it, it takes forever. So, I, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah. So, this was your reading, Divine Fem Beautiful reading. Beautiful freaking reading. This was nice. This was really, really nice. Oh, I was going to pull some of these. Let's let's pull these here. Okay. Oh, let's just pull one, really. We don't need to pull a whole bunch. Let's get one card for the Divine Feminines. Spirit, and then we'll close out really this time. One card for the Divine Feminine Spirit. Spirit. One card. This deck is called the, um, damn, I don't even have the damn. Do I have a title card in here? I forgot what this deck called, y'all. <laughs> Forgive me. But, um, one more time. 
for divine feminine spirit. What, what else can we get? What do they need to hear? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is magic. Life is full of magic. Spirit is working with you to bring your intentions into manifestation. Be sincere and direct about what you want so that all of your goals can be attained and dreams brought with, within reach. Expect signs and sudden blessings to come into your life. The universe is receptive to you in, a, in ceremony or ritual work. Be mindful that what you send out can return to you, so only send out intentions for the highest good. Someone around you may be sending you magical energy. Protect your space and stay in a high, high vibration of awareness. Okay. That could be a thing. You could, you, somebody here could be doing spell work on you or something like that. So be, be extra protective of your space or cleanse your, cleanse your space or something. One more. Maybe you guys need to do some spell work like, uh, you know, for you and your life. Unlike these idiots that do spell work on other people. Fucking annoying. What else? Okay. We have intention, yeah. Spirit is reminding you to be mindful of your intention with yourself and others, as well as the things you are working to manifest for yourself and those around you. This may also be an omen that your intention has come into question from someone who is suspicious of you. This could also be your suspicions are leading you to question the intention of others. Ask spirit to show you what you need to see. Ask that your truth be made known and the truth of others to be revealed. More information is needed. Choose your words and actions carefully. Okay. Oh, okay. So the title is Call of the Wild Horse Oracle. Okay. I think one of my, um, I have her other deck. It's, it's called a set. I forgot what it's called, y'all. But y'all be liking that deck that I used. Uh, I think I, I think I wrapped it up and put it away. But, um, I have another deck by her. She commented on my reading the other day. <laughs> I think she's a Taurus like me, but this is another deck by her, I believe. I think this is another deck by her. Um, Debbie Edwards. Thank you, Debbie. If that's your name, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I got it wrong. But yeah, she has a lot of. I got this off of Etsy. It's called Call of the Horse, Call of the Wild Horse Oracle. Okay. So, all right, guys. This was your reading. This was a nice reading, um, Divine Feminines. It really, really was. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments and let me know how y'all like the 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 um the money oracle part for, for your businesses and things like that so yeah like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye